Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. So guys, are you ready for a new uh, class? Let's remember guys that um, this is going to good be like, like the, hi, good evening. This is like uh, the class in which we are going to start the week number two. And uh, tomorrow, remember, guys, we don't have classes, right? Because it's like Mother's Day. Así quédense ya. Feliz día las madres para las que ya son madres, right? So since tomorrow we don't have classes, so it's good, like, you know, to, to congratulate you girls since today, right? So if you remember, uh, yesterday we were doing a series of activities, all right? Uh that we didn't finish, right? So basically, those activities are going to be finished tonight, guys, before moving on to the next topic that we are going to be discussing, right? So I hope the rest to get connected on time, okay, and early, so that way we can start with those activities that you guys did not finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass the attendance list just to start with uh, with that. Okay, so Adi Beatriz. Is Adi here? Okay, so she is not here. Ana Cristina. Okay, not here. Brian Aldair. Teacher, disculpe que le interrumpa. Yeah. Eh, no sabe si desde la plataforma que dan del curso se puede obtener algún tipo de comprobante de estudio. O no sé si inglés corporativo lo da. En este caso sería, eh, creo que inglés corporativo. Right. Eh, eso sí que usted lo tendría que solicitar. Ajá, es que me estaban solicitando eso por el horario, porque me están rotando el horario desde mañana. Entonces ya saldría a las 10 de la noche. Entonces, más que todo por la asistencia, ¿verdad? Yeah. Están bien estrictos y están pidiendo eso. Y ya les escribí, pero no responden. <ríe> Entonces, por eso le preguntaba. ¿A los de inglés corporativo? Sí, ya les escribí en privado. Mm -hmm. Ok, so, entonces me voy a poner en contacto con ellos y les voy a exponer su caso para que se comuniquen con usted, right? Porque si ya les envió mensaje, pues por lo menos para que revisen y pues le puedan dar algún seguimiento a su caso, ok? Y ahí para ver de qué sí. manera se puede... Se sí, puede más sobre... que todo porque teniendo el comprobante, pues me van a dejar saliendo al menos a las seis, ¿verdad? Vamos ajá, a sí, a, por lo menos para tener, ajá, el espacio para la clase, right? Ok. All right, no okay. problem. Um, Thank you. Yeah, le, la, I will, acuérdeme al final de la clase, por favor, ok? Para poder anotar eh, sus datos y poder eh, enviar unos mensajes. All right, so. Let's continue. So, Brian, I think Brian is working, is there, but it's as a listener. Uh, Carlos. Uh, present, present teacher, uh, estaremos oyente ahorita, mientras llego a la casa. Ah, okay. All right, mister. Thank you. There you go. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique. Okay, so he is not here. Claudia Marcela. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he, she's not here. Doris Alejandra. 
present. Okay, good. Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Graciela Saraí. Present teacher. Okay, good. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Irma del Tránsito. Irma del Tránsito. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so she's not here. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. Okay, good. Juan Carlos. I am here, teacher. Okay, good. Katia Maria. Present. Okay. Kenia Maricela. Kenia. Okay, no here. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay, so Pedro Rigoberto. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. That is basically not here. All right, guys. So let's just start with what we are going to be discussing tonight. So before moving on to the second uh, unit, guys, I would like to start with a short feedback or a short review about what you were doing all right yesterday, right? So we are going to start with that. So guys, do you remember what were you doing yesterday? Can somebody tell me what we were doing yesterday? ¿Qué recordamos de la clase pasada? Vamos a comenzar con una pequeña retroalimentación, right? So, ¿qué recordamos? We have a review of infinitive. Okay, we had a review with, of infinitives. With the passive voice. Mm -hmm. uh, the values. Ah, okay, cool. We were discussing the values. Nice, thank you, Guillermo. Who else? And working in the manual. Um, <laughs> no sé cómo se dice, tenemos pendiente. And we have a pending. I have a pending. <laughs> a pending assignment. Oh, okay, cool. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hey, but. What about these people? They haven't getting connected. So I cannot start only with you guys. I just got 14. And yesterday we were more. I'm pretty sure we were more, right? So vamos a ver si terminamos esa actividad que estuvimos trabajando ayer. Pero vamos a dar un poco más de tiempo a sus compañeros que se puedan conectar porque me falta muchos de sus compañeros para poder eh, dar continuidad a esa actividad, right? So, uh, but before starting with that, les voy a mostrar una pequeña presentación relacionada al tema que vamos a discutir esta noche. Give me one second. Yeah, it has to be this one. All right, guys. So basically, we have started, okay, uh, 
that you need number two. And the first topic that we are going to be discussing, it's going to be industry vocabulary, right? So in other words, vocabulario relacionado a la industria, right? So basically, that's what it means, this thing. All right, so let's just start. So as always, we are going to show up a class agenda. Uh, and we started with a review from the previous class, something that we just finished a moment ago, right? So we did a short feedback about what we were doing last class. Then we are going to start with a short conversation related to the structure that we're gonna be discussing. All right, we have another aspect that we are going to be discussing about, and it is about the industry vocabulary. And at the end of that, we are going to finish a couple of exercises in the manual. And at the end, of course, we are going to check those exercises, right? So this is like basically what we have for the rest of the class, right? Good. So just remember, guys, if you have questions while I am explaining something, please let me know, okay? Okay, before starting with that, I got some questions for us guys to discuss. All right, and this is the first question. Do you often attend seminars? This is a general question for us to practice a little bit speaking, guys, okay? So, do you often attend seminars, guys, in your jobs? ¿Suelen asistir ustedes a seminarios por parte de su trabajo? Yes, no. No? No, teacher. Any kind no. of training? Algún tipo de entrenamiento? Something? Capacitación? And yes, teacher. Ah, in your case. How often, Guillermo? ¿Qué tan a menudo? Mm, they always um, give us a, a capacitation uh, once a month. It depends of the company. Okay, once a month, it depends on the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Acceptable. Who else? Quien más? Any other one of you guys uh, got a training in your job? So basically, you don't have Not any kind of training. Okay. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. But yes? Rarely. Rarely. Only... Only when there are new processes. Processes. Ah, okay. Only when there are new processes to do is that you have trainings yes. or seminars. Okay. Acceptable. All right. Good evening, Carlos. All right. There you go. So in that case, is it easy for you guys to socialize at those events? Cuando tienen capacitación o tienen algún tipo de evento. Guys, is, that, is it easy for you to socialize? ¿Es fácil a usted, para ustedes socializar? Aquí sí quiero la participación de la mayoría. Ok. So, the idea, la idea es que podamos practicar lo más que podamos. Ok. Good. So, I'm going to start with, uh, let me see, Katia. Is it easy for you to socialize in at any event in your company? No, teacher. So you are not a, a, a social person? <laughs> like, <what's laughs> the yes, I'm shy. <laughs> I'm 
Are you you are shy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Le vamos a dar el beneficio de la duda. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say yes. Okay, good. What about you, Juan? I think I think the truth no. No what? It is not easy for you to socialize? Come on, Juan. I don't believe you. It's, it's very difficult because uh, the the capacitation is is a one person for nah. okay, for, but for let's my work. Okay, but let's suppose you have a social event in your company. Uh is it easy to socialize with other people in the company on social events? I think um, yes, I think yes. So, es sencillo para usted el poderlo hacer. All right. Hmm. Okay, all right. Maritza, what about you? Is it really easy to social no. other people, Maritza? No. Ah, come on. Everybody <laughs> in here is shy. Todos son tímidos, ni les creo. Yes. Yeah, de verdad. Oh, okay. So you and Katia are like the people are the kind of people that ah, ah, don't like the, the you don't like sharing experiences, socializing with other people. Okay. Ah, that's acceptable. There you go. Evelyn, what about you? I always socially with my classmates. Okay, you always socialize with your... Okay, in that case, co-workers, right? Si nos referimos ya a compañeros de trabajo, sería co-workers. Okay, co-workers. Yeah, vamos a escribírselo acá, like this. Look, co-workers, like this. Compañeros de trabajo, right? Okay, so entonces para usted es sencillo esta, eh, 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 establecer comunicación con, con, con otras personas. Evelyn? Perdón. It's easy for you to talk with other people. ¿Es sencillo para usted socializar con otras personas? Sí. Yes. Soy, soy supervisor de... Bueno, soy supervisora de área, entonces tengo que socializar. Debería. Y yo. <risa> mm. Todos mm -hmm. los días. Yes. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Okay. There you go. Uh, Rosalie. What about you, Rosalie? Yes, for me, it's very easy to socialize. Ah, to socialize? Ah, okay, I mean, that's... Socialize. Ah, yes. Cool. Okay, so it is not complicated to you, right, to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Good. Ah, let me see any other person in here. Like, uh, we are as oyentes people. Graciela? What about you, Graciela? It's hard for me to break the ice, but when I when I realize mm -hmm. it's it, easy peasy. Um, okay, okay, okay. So at the beginning it's like kind of difficult, but once you know the person, it is easy for you. Yes. Okay. Understandable. There you go. Uh, Carlos Antonio, what about you? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, what? I am, I am chef. I'm about to try uh, my friends and what? Um, cold work. Ah, okay, okay. All right. That's acceptable. 
Good. Doris, and you? You there, Doris? Good evening. Hi, good evening. In my case, um, it's easy in the moment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the so so. <laughs> okay, okay. So I might, I might, I might take it like, yeah, it is kind of easy for you, but in some cases, not that much. All right, good, good guy. Now let's keep going on this. Okay, take a look at this question over here. How do you usually break the ice? En, una, en un evento social, ¿ustedes son los que rompen el hielo hablando con alguien más? ¿O son los que esperan que les hablen? I want a couple of participation, guys. ¿Quién es? ¿Qué tipo de, 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 de people are you? Los que rompen el hielo, los que, right, like start a conversation, o los tímidos que esperan que les hablen. Good evening, teacher. Sorry que no me había podido conectar, pero ya estoy aquí. Good evening, Claudia. Claudia, one question. Yes. In a social event, Claudia, it is easy for you to break the ice when talking to another person or it's difficult uh, for you? No, it's easy for me. Mm, okay, all right. So you're like a, a talking. Or... Yes. Okay, good. Juan, are you about to say something? Well, for me, it depends if... I know I know the subject. It's easy for me to break the ice. Okay, it is easy for you to break the ice. Okay, good, good. All right, I would like to get one more participation. Let me see. Alguien que no me haya participado ahorita. Teacher. Hi, Susana. Yo no he participado. Hey, justo iba para donde estoy. For me, it's very easy to socialize with other persons. And it's very easy to break the ice. Ah, okay, okay. So, hmm, good, good. That's very interesting. There you go. Good, guys. Now. Taking aside these ones, let's go into this. Before moving on, uh, I would like to start uh, with the differences of these uh, two words, guys. Headquarters and branch, okay? Give me one second, guys. All right. There you go. So in that case, give me one second, guys. I'm, I'm getting a couple of. Okay, good. So let's start with the word headquarters. ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado esta palabra antes? Headquarters. Yes. Okay, and what is the headquarters? Comuna sede. Headquarters. Okay, as it says in here, right? Uh, by the way, Katia, help me a reading. Okay. Headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main office. Ah, uh, okay. So basically headquarters, it's basically the place where a company organization has its main offices, right? 
In other words, es como cuando nosotros le llamamos headquarters, en este caso sería casa matriz. Ok. That would be a headquarters, right? La sede central de una empresa, right? That commonly we call them, right? A casa matriz. Ok, now, branch. What is a branch? Guillermo, help me a reading. A branch, a shop or office representing, uh, representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Okay, very good. So according to that, guys, that it says, a branch is basically a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. How do you understand that? ¿Qué creen que es? Exactly. En este caso, a branch significa sucursal, right? Headquarters, casa matriz. Branch means sucursal, okay? So basically, that's what a branch is. Okay, good. Now, dicho esto y entendido con eso, let's move out. I need to show you uh, a kind of vocabulary related to the industry. Esto es sacado del manual, okay? So if you have printed the manual, you will identify these partners. Okay. Vamos a ver los diferentes tipos de industria, all right, que existe. For example, Maritza, help me out reading this one, please. The, the beauty and personal care industry. Ah, okay, very good. The beauty and personal care industry, right? It's like where beauty salons are, all right, and all those kind of, you know, like industries, right? Related to the beauty and personal care for people. So, hi, Cristina. Welcome to the class. All right. Thank so, you, teachers. Okay. You're welcome. Now, the second industry. Juan, help me a reading. Juan, you had the microphone off. The, sorry, sorry. The, con, the construction industry. Okay, cool. The construction industry, right? Industria de la construcción. All right, check this one out. So you got this one. Textile industry, right? Textile industry. What is this, guys? The industria textil. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Doris. Yeah, it's basically that, right? There sure. you go. Sure. I didn't uh -huh. pronounce. How do you pronounce uh, textile. textile? Textile. Textile industry. Thanks. Okay, very good. Now, continue. This is another one, guys. Check this out. Uh, Rosalie, help me out reading. The telecom telecommunications industry. Okay, the telecommunications industry. All right. The industria de las telecomunicaciones, right? Good. And you got the finance industry, right? So that's another one that is like really important, all right, in this field. And after the finance industry, we have another one called. Ta -da -da. Let me see who can help me out. Jesus. Susana, help me out reading. Uh, the last. Yeah. The automotive. Industry. Automotive, exactly. Automotive industry. What is that? Automotive guys? industry. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, what is the automotive industry? Uh, 
What does it mean, guys? ¿Qué significa esta parte, esta industria? Automotriz. Exactly. That's what it is. La industria automotriz, right? At automotive industry. Okay, good. Let's continue. Okay, so we have another one. Graciela. The packaging industry. Okay, thank you. Carlos Antonio. Are you there, Carlos Antonio? The beverage industry. Okay, the beverage industry. What is this industry, guys? Beverage industry. Okay, industry. Industry of bebida. Exactly. Beverage means bebida. Very good. Okay, and we got the tourism industry, right? So in that case, it's like pretty simple to you guys. And the pharmaceutical industry, right? Industria farmacéutica, right? Good. Oops. Before moving up, let's take a look at this one. Good. So basically, these are like the main industries that there are, right, in existence. And it's common for us to identify, guys. Son como las industrias más eh, comunes, right? Que, pues, nosotros podemos identificar. Right? Good. So, guys, I'm going to stop sharing this. Ahora sí, voy a dejar de compartir esta parte. Because I need to show you something. In the manual. In the manual. Okay. I want guys you to go to page 19. Go to page 19 in your manuals. Okay, so in page 19, you will identify this. These were the questions that we were discussing, guys, related to seminars, right, and trainings. And now, guys, they, this was like the part that we were discussing about the headquarters in branch. So that was like pretty easy for you to understand. What are we going to do now? We're gonna practice the short conversation that we got in here before continuing with the series of activities that we have for the rest of the class. It says, listen to your teacher read the conversation. It says, then practice with a partner at a seminar, en un seminario. This is a conversation between Rick and Jack, okay? I'm gonna read the conversation two times as always. And then you will help me out with a practice, okay? It says Rick. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Jack says, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. I work for Inex Inc. Rick says, What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? It says, Jack. We manufacture cardboard boxes. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging for packaging companies. Companies. Oh, I see. It says Rick. Oh, I see. 
Does INEX have many branches? Does INEX have many branches? Jack says, yes, it does. Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. In the country. Rick says, and where are the headquarters? And where are the headquarters? Jack says, they're in Panama. They're in Panama. Okay, good guys. From this short conversation, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta con esta pequeña conversación? What is the meaning, teacher? Cardboard boxes. Okay, boxes means cajas. Cardboard means cartón. Okay, that is cardboard. Cartón. So, cardboard boxes, cajas de cartón. All right, any other word, guys? ¿Alguna otra palabra que no comprendamos? O pronunciation that you don't know how to do it? No? Okay, good. So, si no tenemos preguntas con relación a este vocabulario, okay, as always, all right, as we have been doing in the past, we're going to go and practice this short conversation for a couple of minutes, guys. Then we are going to come back here just to read it in the general meeting. Okay, good. But listen up, guys. So in this case, tenemos esta pequeña conversación. Okay, cuando terminemos la práctica de la conversación, quiero que me hagan esta parte. Okay, dice, working uh, pair work. What two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Practice the expanded conversations with a partner. Dice, ¿qué otras dos preguntas le hicieras a Rick para continuar la conversación? Okay, the questions in here. Estas. Supongamos que ustedes son Jack. Me agregan acá como grupo o como pareja que van a trabajar dos preguntas más que ustedes, si fuera Jack, le hicieran a Rick acá. ¿Ok? Good. That's after practicing the conversation. ¿Ok? So you can ask questions like, like, like it goes here, right? The structure. ¿Ok? Good. Do you understand what you're going to do, guys? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda? Clear. Everything clear? Okay, good. So I'm going to stop sharing here. Y necesito saber ahora, guys, quiénes están como oyentes. Todo el que tenga la palabra oyente, debo suponer que no va a poder participar. Y los que no tengan la palabra oyente, entonces sí. So I am going to include you guys in the conversation practice. Will you get this one? Susan. Oh. 
Okay, guys, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Let's go to work, guys. Mm, for the ones who are here, guys, can you please get connected? Carlos, eh, no se ha podido conectar, Carlos. Okay, so he's there. I'm going to check in, in Brian. Cristina, are you still busy? do jack we manufacture care world boxes for packing companies oh i see does enex have many branches yes it does we have three manufacturing branches in the country and where are the, the headquarters they're in Panama. Okay. Hoy sería Claudia eh, Juan Carlos. Okay, usted sea Rick. Okay. My name is Rick. Eh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INES have many branches? Yes, branches. it does. Okay, yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, hoy sería Carlos eh, Juan. Juan. Okay. Hey, come in, come in, My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work and I work. My name is My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inks Inex Inks to Jack. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branch? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. Now, uh, how Rick? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Ines Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? 
We manufacture cardboard box for packaging companies. ¿A qué? ¿A cuál departamento pertenece? Uh -huh. Porque ahí solo eh, se presentan en donde trabaja o la industria a uh -huh. que se... ¿De qué es la industria? ¿El nombre de la industria? Que, ¿Y qué hace? Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí, ¿cuál, ¿a cuál departamento pertenece? Which department do you belong to? Escribamos entonces. Which department do you belong to? Uh -huh. Y está el teacher aquí. Sí, aquí está. Yes, I... uh, what, is the what is the pronunciation of mm, pack packaging? Uh -huh. Packaging. Packaging. Okay. Yeah. Packaging. And what is the mean of headquarters? Headquarters? Uh, All right. Huh? Casa Matriz. Exactly. Casa Matriz. Casa Matriz. Casa Matriz, perdón, yeah. no les escuché. Yeah, that's, that's In what. Branches means branches, sucursal. Branches means sucursal. Exactly. Sucursales. Mm -hmm. Headquarters, a city that headquarters. headquarters. Exactly, headquarters. Headquarters, headquarters. headquarters. Okay. Um, vamos a pasar a la otra. Um, what else? I need to have. We manufacture fabric. Oh, it's too important. Um, no sé. Vaya, si le preguntamos a qué departamento pertenece, es cuál es su cargo. What, what do you. Civil. Ajá, así que, um, okay, te, ¿Cuál es el cargo? O, ¿Qué es lo que hace? What do you do? O, ajá, ¿Cuál es el cargo? Oh, no sé, como así, como... Uh -huh, what do you do? Quiero ver. Estoy viendo si copio de aquí del libro. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No, pero no hay otros. Conversation. Y dice que es supervisor no vea. No, solo, solo dice. ¿Qué cita sería no, entonces? Solo dice que trabaja. Ah, no, supongo no le. Ajá. ¿Con qué frecuencia visita la casa matriz? How often do you visit um, headquarters? Headquarters. Ah, headquarters. Ah, hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're doing the questions now? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Teacher, la, las preguntas tienen que llevar respuesta. ¿O solo las preguntas? No, solamente las preguntas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Porque es porque sería it is located in front of the park. O sea, está, está frente al parque. Esta es la primera y la segunda es in the middle of the middle of the of the town and the two. Está en medio de la del banco y la escuela. Uh -huh. Solo dijo, ¿verdad, Ticha? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Luego, luego que íbamos a hacer ahí, hijo, en la literal 3. A ver. Literal. Es una lista de compañías con las sucursales en la ciudad, locación y su casa matriz. Ok, good. Quiero que hagan esa parte también. List three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters. Quiero que piensen en tres empresas que ustedes conozcan. Ok, donde dice uh -huh. branches, ¿Dónde, dónde, en qué lugar están ubicadas sus branches, o sea, sus sucursales, y dónde están uh -huh. sus, básicamente, eh, ok, en branches lo que pueden ponerle es, uh, ¿cuántas son? One, two, three, right, in number. Okay. ok, and in, okay. Uh, dice headquarters, ¿dónde están sus headquarters, right, the loca la location? Ok. okay. There you go. Perfecto. Nice. Yeah. David Panama. Okay. All right, guys. Listen up. Vamos a hacer otra pequeña, pequeña, pequeña actividad que está más abajito de las preguntas. Si se van a la parte de, del ejercicio 4, ¿ok? Donde dice pay work, mm -hmm. dice list three companies and branch uh, with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters, right? Okay. Quiero que escojan tres, tres empresas del país que ustedes conozcan, okay? Donde dice branches, son sucursales. Me van a colocar un número de sucursales que ustedes creen que esa empresa tiene, okay? Si es uno, one, two, three, four, five, all right, six. Y headquarters, donde tienen su casa matriz. ¿Dónde creen ustedes que la tienen? Ok, ahí sí me van a mencionar el lugar. Ok. Ok. Good. If you have finished the conversation and the questions, let's do that one, ok. Ok, Nice. Hello, girls. Did you finish that part? Good. Nice. If you have already finished, Quiero que bajemos un poquito más en el manual a la parte 4, donde dice pair work. ¿Ok? okay. Dice ahí, okay. list three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters. Si ven, ahí hay un pequeño recuadro que dice companies, branches, mm -hmm. headquarters. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. En la parte okay. donde dice company, me van a escoger tres empresas que ustedes conozcan. ¿Ok? Acá okay. el país, common companies, ¿ok? Donde dice branches, me van a colocar el número de sucursales que ustedes creen que tiene esa empresa, ¿ok? O esas empresas, más bien dicho, porque van a ser tres. En uh, the headquarters, ahí en los headquarters, así me van a indicar ustedes dónde creen que tienen su casa matriz, estas empresas, ¿ok? If you think it's in San Salvador, if you think it's in Sonsonate, ¿ok? Whatever place you think that headquarter is, right? Three different companies, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, cool. Así para uh, terminar esa página y la revisar de una vez, okay? Okay. Good, good. All right, guys, you finished, right? Good. I want you to go down. Uh, who's chairing? Guillermo, baje un poco, por favor. Teacher. Roll down, please. Okay, there, Guillermo. Here, there, there, there. Okay, let's go to the part four. It says, pay your work. List three companies with branches, the country, and the location of its headquarters. Quiero que eh, hagamos esta parte también para así revisar toda la, pa la página de una vez, ¿ok? In there you got okay. companies, branches, headquarters. Quiero que me escojan tres empresas de acá del país, ¿ok? Three companies, que las mencionen ahí, pongan el nombre. Branches, ¿cuántas sucursales creen que tienen? Ahí me van a colocar el número de sucursales que ustedes creen que tienen, ¿ok? You can investigate. Okay. En donde dice headquarters. Quiero que me ubiquen 
all right, o me coloquen ahí, according to what you know, the place, okay, the location where the headquarters of these companies are, okay? Si es en San Salvador, if it is, uh, uh, what, San Miguel, Son Sonate, all right? Donde ustedes creen que esa empresa es, all right? You can set it down there. Uh, como acá hay tres, si ustedes gustan, pueden poner el nombre de sus empresas. Y si estas empresas tienen sucursal, ok, put it there, the number, y dónde está la casa matriz, ok? Any question? Okay. ¿Alguna duda? No. No. There you go. Good, good. Let me see. This is number three. Okay, guys. Juan, Claudia, Carlos, you there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, I want you to go to the part four in the page that you were working on, okay? Quiero que se vayan a la parte cuatro de la página que estamos trabajando. Donde dice, per word, list three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters, right? Tienen ahí la opción de companies, branches, headquarters, okay? Good. Ahí básicamente en la parte de companies, quiero que me escriban el nombre de tres empresas. Pueden incluir la de ustedes, donde ustedes trabajan, if you want, right? Or other companies. El nombre de tres. Donde dice branches, me van a escribir el número de sucursales que esa empresa tiene, según ustedes, ¿ok? Y donde dice headquarters, me van a colocar la ubicación donde tienen la casa matriz esas empresas, ¿ok? In there, according to what you think, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Let's finish that. Ok, teacher. Nice. The address, address, the hot water. Um, solo hasta ahí no. tenemos que llegar hasta la 4 a la 3 a la 3 pero pongámosle aquí este San, ah, pero, pongámosle no. Salvador, está bien. Ok. Solo le voy a le voy a presentar porque me quedé, me quedé en las preguntas, en la, en la segunda pregunta. Y creo que ahí me confundí. Lo estaba haciendo aquí en el archivo. Con Salvador. No dice exactamente. Creo que es antiguo Atlante. No, pero no 
da una ubicación exacta. También estaba el bam bam, pero ya no. Ellos tienen menos. Pero y atrás del, del... Ajá, entonces pongamos esa, pero sucursales, ¿cuántas serán? Sucursales dice que tiene 107. Ah, vaya, entonces pongamos esa. Y en San Salvador sería, en San Salvador sería la... En San Salvador, porque ajá, está en la Avenida Olímpica. Super selectos. Uh -huh. Sería 107. Uh -huh. 107. Y, pero ver, busque las, las de, de ad branches de uh, ad hoc. Deben ser un montón también. Y the help quarter is easy in Soyapango too. Tiendas ad hoc ex Salvador, dice. No me sale la tienda en línea, espérenme. Quiero ver. Y tengo mucho sueño, lo siento. Así veo. Pues a las dos ahora en la madrugada trabajando. What? Really? ¿Qué me parece? Y me pico, entonces no he dormido nada. Oh my God. Ah, pero Hoy los voy a sacar exactamente 10 en punto para que vea que no, no voy a tener Gracias. mucho tiempo, ¿ok? Yeah. No le parece. Pero ahorita, quiero ver. Ay, si no, busquemos. Me salen un montón. Deben ser un montón, pero si tiene este otro, por eso podemos poner que tenga sucursal. Casa, ah, una panadería, mm -hmm. la de la, El Rosario, la Casa Matriz está aquí en San Salvador por el Parque Infantil. Ah, sí, verdad. Panadería El Rosario, Vaquerí, Vaquerí Rosario. Ahí por el Escuela de Ciegos, pero no sé cuántas sucursales nos van a salir también del Rosario. Ajá. Ajá. Pero, ¿y si ponemos el Cisquei? Esa es más pequeña, creo yo. Ajá, y la, y la casa, casa matriz está sobre la primera. Ajá, ya casi llegando hasta el borde del mundo. Ajá. Casa Ajá. matriz, dice que está. Sí, sobre la primera. Okay. San Salvador. Y. El Cisquei sucursal le voy a poner. Estas deben ser pocas. Uh -huh. No me aparecen, solo el Cisquez Plaza Mundo. Dice. Quiero ver. Pongamos un aproximado entonces, porque no en todos los centros comerciales hay. Uh -huh. Hay una en Plaza Mundo. No sé si está, yo creo que hasta ya la quitaron. Quiero ver. Y esta, esta que es la matriz. Esta sí. una en la gran vía. Uh -huh. Entonces pongamos unas. Uh -huh. You finished, guys? Yes, yes. Sir. yes. Mm, okay, all right. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to go and check another group. If they have already finished, we're going to go back to the main section. Uh, 
Hi, guys. Do you finish? Yes. Okay, sir. All right, so I'm just going to check another group in the if they have already finished. Uh, we're going to go to the Okay. Uy, se me movió. Okay. Good. Good. Exactly. Exactly. Can you feel 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 it? ¿Dónde la puedes encontrar exactamente? ¿no? Where exactly? Where are? No, solo where, where, así. Ex where exactly? Así. You're done? Hello, teacher. Hi. You finished? Mm, I finished. Sí, finish. Ok, cool. Bueno, ya es hora de volver entonces. Vamos a revisar lo que tienen. Bueno, gracias, teacher. Ok. And the classmates don't want to come fast. Ah, they are coming. All right, guys, let's start with the conversation practice that we got over here. Right, and I want to start with Katia. You're gonna, you're, you're the first one on my list. So, can you start? Who are you working with? I'm Maritza. Ah, with Maritza. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, Jack, I work for INI Inc. Good to Jack. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does INIX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, they're in Panama. Okay, very good. So for you both, ladies, what was the or what were the questions that you included in here? Podrían leerme una cada una, por favor, sobre las preguntas que hicieron acá. Okay. And number one, where are the branches in the country? Okay, where are the branches in the country? Okay, good. And the other one? Number two, how often do you visit the headquarters? Okay, very good. How often do you visit the headquarters? Okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza and Katia. You did it excellent. Now, one. All right. Who were you working, mister? Um, I think Claudia y Charles Carlos Enrique, creo. Okay. Carlos Elías. Carlos Elías. Ah, Carlos Elías. Okay, Juan. 
So you're going to be working with Claudia. After you finish, Claudia will be working with Carlos. And when they both finish, Carlos will finish with you the practice, okay? Like a circle. Okay. okay? Let's go. Uh, who is Rick? You. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? Uh, we manufacture a cardboard box for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Enix have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing uh, branches in the country. And where are the, the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, good. Now, Claudia, let's work with Carlos. Okay, Carlos is Rick. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Ines Inc. What does Ines Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Ines have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, cool. Now, Carlos, finish the practice okay. with Juan. Okay. Uh... You, uh, I and Jack, you read? I think so. Okay. Uh, my name is Rick. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, give me nice one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Juan, you started as Rick when you were practicing with Claudia, right? Um, ah, okay. So Carlos now... Carlos and Jack. Exactly. So Carlos can work as Rick. So in that way, you don't repeat oh, it. Surely. Yes. Sorry. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? Uh, we manufacture cardboard box for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX has many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? Uh, they are in Panama. Okay, very good. So basically, we have ended up with that, right? Uh, thank you, Claudia, Carlos, and Juan. Now, guys, read the two questions that you did in here, just to continue with the conversation. Um, what are the other headquarters in the country? Okay, very good. And the second one? Uh, how many years has the company been producing? Producing? Sí. Oh, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you to you three guys. You did it excellent. Now let's continue with other pairs. Uh, let me see who can be next. Guillermo, who are you working with? Mm. I was working with Graciela and Carlos. Okay. Van a ser prácticamente similar a lo que hicieron ellos, right? So basically the same role. So Guillermo, let's start with Graciela. Okay. Um, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Graciela, eh, creo que tiene problemas con el audio. Ahora sí me escucha? Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you too. 
I am Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, they are in Panama. Okay, good. Graciela, let's do it, but with the other person you were working on. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard box for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. They are in Panama. Okay, very good. Now, mister, let's start you and then Guillermo will follow you up, okay? Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? Uh, we manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branch? Uh, yes, it does. We have three manufacturer branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. Very good. There you go, guys. Now, what were the questions that you that you did in here? Can you read them? What is the mission and ambition of your company? Mm, okay, good. And the second one? The second one is Give me one which second. are the branches? Ah, okay. Continue, Guillermo. I thought Graciela was. Which here. are the branches does INEX in manufacture? Ah, okay. Very good. Yeah, there you go. So thank you, Guillermo, Graciela, and Carlos, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, guys. You did it excellent. Now, Rosalie, who were you working with? With Susana. Okay, let's go. Okay. Comienza, Rosalie. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX in do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for package, packaging compa companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, very good. There you go. You were only you two, right? Nobody, nobody else. And Brian, pero oyente, listener. Okay, so he cannot participate right now then. Okay, no. cool. Read one and one about the questions that you did. And the first question is, read, what industry do you work for? Okay, good. And second question is, Rick, what do you do in your department? Okay, excellent. Very good, good question. Nice, thank you, Susana and uh, Rosalie. Okay, who else is missing, guys? Quien me falta? For that, you'll have to check your network settings. All right, 
What's up, guys? ¿Quién me falta? Con Dori. Ah, ok, cool, Evelyn. Let's go. Give me one second. I'm going to move this out here. Hello. Okay, ah. okay. Uh, Hello? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, Jack, I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc do, Jack? We manufacture the cardboard box for packi pack packaging. packaging? Packaging companies. Oh, I see those in it have many branches. Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing the branches in the country. And we, uh, where are the headquarters? They... They are in Panama. Okay, very good. They are in Panama. Okay, and we were, what were the questions that you did? Can you read them, please? Okay. Um, the number the number first. And what is the address the headquarter? Okay, very good. And the okay. other one? Number two, where exactly can you find it? Find it. Find it. Okay. Very good. Find it. Yes, okay, great. All right, aparte de ellas, alguna otra pareja que me haga falta? Hmm. No, creo que no. Okay, good guys. Let's jump into the part four, where it says payer work. List three companies with branches in your country and then, I mean, in the location of the headquarters. Okay. Uh, 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 let me see. I'm gonna start with the first group. Katia. you and your classmate, can you mention the companies that you have here? Then the branches, how many branches, and then the headquarters. Where is the branch? Uh, the headquarters located? Okay. Um. The first company, Dollar City. Uh, forty-four, forty-five branches. Okay. In the Four. country. Mm -hmm. And headquarters in. USA and on my the second I'm in the Simon, seven branches in the country headquarters in San Salvador El Salvador okay very good and, and Pizza Hut uh, five four five four branches in the country and it requires in Kentucky, USA. Mm, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Katia. Katia, choose the next pair to participate here. Let's go have the siguiente. Rosalie. Rosalie. Okay, thank you. Rosalie. Hi, teacher. Lo voy a decir yo. Ah, ok, no problem. You were working with Rosalie? Pues trabajamos juntas, sí. Ok, perfect. Let's go. Uh, company eh, Industrias Alimenticias Diana, no sé cómo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Diana. No sé Branches 7. Mm -hmm. Health Coverage in Soyapango, San Salvador. Uh -huh. 
Uh, number two, company super selectos. Okay. Branches 107 mm -hmm. uh, in the country. Uh, headquarters in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Bakery Elsie's Cake. Branches 26. Uh, headquarters in San Salvador. Okay, very good. The headquarters in San Salvador. Okay, excellent. Now, Susana, help me choosing the next pair. Susana, you then go ahead and the pareja. Graciela Saray Ramirez. Okay, thank you. Graciela, you there? Graciela, are you there? Sí, estoy, teacher. Lo que pasa es que estoy teniendo problemas con el internet. Mm, ok. ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando usted? Con Guillermo en Carlos, creo que se llamaba el otro muchacho. Perfecto. Entonces me van a leer uno cada uno, right? Ok. Uh, the first is Avianca. Uh -huh. It has three branches and the headquarters is in San Salvador. Mm, okay. Okay, teacher companies, Grupo Pelsa, Troy Branch, and headquarters, Santo Tomás. Okay, perfect. The last one is Parque Industrial Verde. It has two branches and is located in Soyapango, the headquarters. Okay, very good. There you go. So basically it is located in Soyapango, right? Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay, who is missing in this activity, guys? Vamos a ver, ¿quién más falta? Maritza, did you participate already? Yes, with Katia. Ah, okay. It's my partner. There you go. <sighs> Claudia. Yes. Um. The first one is the office. They have uh, one branches and. Headquarters is in San Salvador. Mm, okay, good. And luego iba Juan y Carlos. Perfect. One and one. Okay. Uh, companies. Garban Company. Mm -hmm. Branches. Two branches. Headquarters uh, in Costa Rica in Guatemala. Okay, very good. Okay, companies. I corporate uh, branches SIAC de San Salvador, um, Alameda Manuel Enrique Araujo y Avengi Olympic, um, mm -hmm. headquarters de San Benito. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Mr. And thank you, everybody, for your participation, guys. Uh, ¿Hay alguna parejita que se me ha escapado? Someone that has not practiced yet? No? Okay, good. All right, guys, what was that? So let's continue with this. So check this out. Tenemos acá básicamente la, los tipos de industria que estuvimos viendo en la presentación al principio de la clase. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esto, guys? Dice, match the product and services to the corresponding industry type. Check this out with a partner. Okay, miren. Les voy a poner esta actividad así, ¿ok? Toda de una y nos vamos a ir a trabajar con, lo, con las parejitas que estábamos haciéndolo, ¿ok? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá, guys? Lo que vamos a hacer es básicamente, ¿ok? Enlazar estas industry, ¿ok? Estas industry que tenemos acá con este vocabulario que básicamente corresponde a 
una industria en específico. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si tenemos acá banks, la palabra banks. ¿Ok? ¿A qué tipo de industria pertenecen los bancos? The finance industry. Finance industry. Finance industry. Exactly. Entonces, así me van a ir desarrollando las demás. ¿Ok? Soft drinks. ¿A qué industria pertenece? Guided tours, a qué industria pertenece, ¿ok? Y acá lo que me van a hacer es colocar el número, ¿ok? Good. Any question with that? ¿Alguna pregunta con esta parte? No. No. Perfect. I'm going to go down and I'm going to explain to you what are you going to do here. Perfect. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer en esta parte acá? Check this out. Dice... Write a sentence to describe the expertise and the industrial classification of the business below. Show your answers with a partner. Okay. It says, fresh and live. At fresh and live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Lo que me van a hacer acá, guys, es básicamente que van a escribir una oración describiendo... ¿Ok? Mm. Escribiendo cada una de estas, básicamente, eh, expertise, les llaman acá. ¿Ok? Y me van a colocar la industria a la que cada una de estas pertenece. ¿Ok? That's what you're going to do, guys. Así como tenemos la número uno de ejemplo. At Fresh and Live, ¿ok? Así se llama la empresa. At Fresh and Live, we distribute, right? Distribuimos. Drinks, soft drinks, bebidas, right? We are the, let me see, we are the beverage industry, ¿ok? Entonces acá es la forma en cómo colocan la industria. Ahora bien, si estamos hablando fix and care, ¿sobre qué industria podríamos estar hablando de fix and care? Automotive, automotive, a veces no Automotive. Industry. Ok, good. Denme una pequeña definición de qué es fix and care acá, así como está acá. Ok, y luego ponen, we are in the automotive industry. Ok, good. So that's going to be a short definition, ok. Cool. So basically, esa es la, uh, las dos actividades que vamos a estar haciendo en este momento, ok. Good. So I'm gonna go send you to work with the pairs that you were working on, guys. And let's go to practice. Let's try to enter, guys. Tratemos de entrar. Okay. Okay, Ana Cristina, la vamos a mandar acá. Ver, Cristina. Sí. Sounds drinks is the beverage industry, no? Beverage industry, beverage industry. In. Guide tours, guide tours, the tourist industry. Better tree, creo que es leather. The tourist industry and Guy of tours is the tourist industry. The very industry. Le number two is letter H, no? The very industry. Yeah. Uh, number three, guy tours 
letter E. Uh, e. Um, I, sorry. No va a compartir, compañero. Sí, ahí en Fix and Care, we... We saw... Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es esta palabra? ¿Cuál quiere decir? Uh, productos para el cuidado del cabello. Vamos a ver aquí, pero. Uh, her... Todos. Product. Para. Cuidado. Ya le digo del cabello. Sería. Hey car products. Hair car. Hey car products. Mm -hmm. We are in the. Este sería. Vamos a ver. The beauty, beauty and personal car industry. Beauty and personal, and personal car industry. Industry. Uh -huh. Enjoy and travel. Uh, uy, y esta cosa. Se le tiene que darle enter. Ajá. Vamos a hacerlo más pequeño. Ofrecemos. Ofrecemos. Este. Ay, no sé. Pintura. Make Mantenimiento, algo así. Como man maintenance, maintenance. Ajá, mm. a los carros de Auromorio, algo así. We are, we are, in, we are in the Auromorio industry. industry. Mm -hmm. Entonces, acá le ponemos a paint and, and paint and Carrocería, carrocería, no sé cómo se llama. Ya va a buscar, ya nos va a regañar el kit. Así que ya vamos a terminar. Ay, no. No sé cómo sigue ahí. Necesito porque ya no voy. Ah, Cristina, 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 recuerda esos viejos tiempos. Ay, teacher. <ríe> I know how you feel, Cristina. Debo suponer que Abby por eso no se conectó. No, Abby, es que quiere enfermita la mamá, profe. Oh, todavía. La operaron y parece que se le ha complicado un poco, entonces ella hoy no llegó a trabajar, de hecho, eso les estoy contando a mis compañeras. Se quedó ella cuidándola. O en el hospital, no estoy segura, pero sí tiene enfermita la mami y no llegó a trabajar. Oh, por eso es que ayer estuvo como oyente nada más. Y ahora sí. Sí, sí porque se turnan con las dos hermanas, creo que tienen, y se turnan para cuidar a la mami. Uh -huh. Bueno. Uh -huh. Y a mí a las dos y media me llamaron que mi hija estaba enferma. Les digo yo a mis compañeras, me la fui a traer, dos horas y cuarto de camino desde allá hasta aquí. Apenas alcancé a venir a misa, vine, la llevé a una clínica privada que está por acá arriba, eh, está prendida en calentura, de la garganta, vomitó, ay no. <risa> ah, pero, pero ya va a pasar, pero ya va a pasar. Primero Dios que sí. <coughs> vale, así que ahí vamos, teacher, ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Yes, poco a poco. <coughs> Vale, vamos a la segunda parte. Ajá, cabal. Eso significa algo así como de costura, de arreglar ropa. ¿Algo así? No. Arreglar, eh, no sé. Ajá, arreglar y confort, confortable. Algo así. Es que he visto fix and fit. No sé cómo que se pone un letrero ahí. Ajá, es, es arreglar. Arreglar y, sí. y... Ajá. Ajá. Y salen ahí unos hilos y unas agujas, pues si usted no es, entonces. Vale. 
art, pics, and attention, her salon service. Mientras tenemos el salón. Y aquí nosotros atendemos el, el salón service. Pero dijo él también que le íbamos a poner lo último, where in the, in the, esto. Podría ser esto. Ajá, cabal, esto. Sería. Uh, where are the beauty? No sé qué más dice. The beauty and personal ¿Qué? car. Industry. Algo así sería. Entonces ahora lo voy en siempre el nombre de la empresa. En Hoy and Travel. En Jay and Travel. Nosotros somos como, esos son como guías turísticos, ¿ves? De guide tour. A business bank. A ver. Eh, we are... Banks. ¿Qué hacen los bancos? Robarnos dinero, ¿no? Aparte de eso. <ríe> Business and bank. Okay. We are. Administration. ¿Administramos su dinero? No. Invertimos su dinero. How this we invertir your money. Invert. No. Mm -hmm. Your money. Your money. Your, 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 uh -huh. your money. We are in the. We are fine. in the. In, in the. Financing industry. The E. The finance industry. Okay. Finance. Finance. Finance industry. Your finance industry. Claudia, is there? Sleepy. Yes. Wow, so you have finished, Carlos and Guillermo. Finish, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Solo vamos a esperar a los demás que terminen y luego vamos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ofrecen diversión, como vacation. Algo así, descanso. Pues sí, descanso y resort. Es como, en... es como balneario. Pero quiero ver. Entonces, we offer enjoy, no, eh, diversión sería, ¿verdad? Decía. Enjoy. 
como distracción, algo así. No. Diversión. Bueno. Descanso. Ajá. O entretenimiento. Diversión y descanso. Tourist. Tourism. 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 Tour
No sé. <ríe> Porque sí me suena así como que algo de, de belleza. Pero no sé, no estoy segura. Y como un balneario, ¿no? Ay, que el nombre suena, o sea, el resort, aunque el resort, quiero ver. We offer un comfortable place. Eso sí está bien, solamente para asignar la industria. Ajá. time to go back. Okay, guys, so now let's check what you got in here. Okay, let's just start checking, guys, uh, this chart that you got in here before we leave. Okay, so Juan, can you please read number two and tell me which industry did you match the vocabulary from number two with? Soft drinks at the Beverage industry. Beverage industry. So here, so you got number two over here. Yes. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Claudia. Now, Rosalie, number three, guided tours. With which industry can I a match, Rosalie? In what? The tourism industry. You mean the tourism oh. industry? Yes. That's what you chose here, number three? Yes. Okay, oh. very good. There you go. Now, uh, cardboard boxes, Katia. And literal G, the packaging industry. The packaging industry? Okay, very good. So in here, so you got number four. Good. Now, uh, let me see. Carlos Enrique, number five, building. Building letter B, the construction industry. Okay, very good. So here goes number five. Okay, next. Uh, let me see who else. Claudia. Sorry, teacher. The mobile mobile phones in which industry can you match them or did you match uh, them? The letter D, the telecommunications industry. The telecommunication industries, okay. Telecommunication, sorry. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Claudia. Now, Susana, help me at reading number da, 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 seven, medicine. Medicine, um, the pharmaceutical industry. Let me see, uh -huh. the pharmaceutical industry over here, right? So in here you got seven. Okay, good. The next one, Doris. You there, Doris? Yes. Okay, cool. The number eight. 
Uh -huh. Number eight, car components. Which the in car the... components and the letter F? The letter the F. Automotive industry. The automotive industry. Number eight. Okay, good. Thank you. Now let me see who can help me out with this. Guillermo? The last one? Okay, we got two more. Hair He's salon. number nine. Hair salon services? Yeah. Is a letter A, the beauty and personal care industry. Let me see, number nine. Okay, here. Here, right? Yes. Very good. So this is like number one where it goes to. And then we're going to get the number 10, Christina. Clothes. The letter C, the textile industry. And you got it over here. Okay, very good, guys. Well job. Muy buen trabajo. So these were the most common industry sections, all right, with how we can, you know, uh, synchronize or match this vocabulary or products. Very good, guys. All right. Con respecto a la otra, give me one second, activity, guys, con respecto a la otra actividad que tenemos en esta parte que ustedes hicieron, all right, por motivos de tiempo, no los voy a tener eh, más de las 10 acá, eh, como en días anteriores, así que por motivos de tiempo lo vamos a dejar como un pre, ok, una preinducción de la siguiente clase, ok, lo vamos a tomar como un feedback from these ones, y me lo van a leer al principio, puesto que ya lo tienen, solo me lo van a leer al inicio de la siguiente clase, como un modo de retroalimentación sobre lo que hemos visto esta noche. Ok, good. So I'm going to stop sharing this, guys. Voy a dejar de compartir esto. Y entonces eh, sería todo por esta noche. Recuerden, mañana we don't have classes, right? Tomorrow we don't have classes. Y para todas aquellas que son mamás, felices, feliz eh, día mañana. Ok. Right. Espero que la pasen bien y puedan bien, descansar, bien. ok, y puedan descansar eh, si tienen el día libre, ok. All right, guys. So I'm going to go and pass the attendance list. Uh, Adi Beatriz, all right, so she didn't get connected. Uh, Ana Cristina. Present. Ok, uh, Brian Aldair. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay, excellent. Carlos Enrique. Present, teacher. Yo me conecté un poquito después que pasó lista. No sé si me conecto. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, I did it. Okay, teacher. Cool. Uh, give me one second, Carlos. Eh, Carlos. Mande. ¿Con ustedes que tuve el feedback ayer? Correcto. Ah, okay. Sí. Okay, cool. Carlos Antonio. Con usted es que no he hecho el feedback, ¿correcto? Correcto. Usted me falta. Entonces se me queda un par de minutos después de la clase, por favor. Ok, está bien. Ok, thank you. Nice. Uh, Claudia Marcela. Present. Ok, good. Uh, Doris Alejandra. Present. Ok, Evelyn Karina. Present. All right, nice. Uh, Graciela Saraí. Graciela, she left. Okay, so she left. Uh, Irma del Tránsito. Okay, Irma didn't show up. Mm, Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Nice. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. I am here, teacher. Nice. Katia Maria. Present. Okay. Kenya Maricela. Okay, creo que Kenya no se conectó. 
Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Ok, Marvin Alexander. Marvin is connected. Ok, I think he got disconnected. Uh, Pedro Rigoberto. Pedro. Ok, so he left. Rosalí Ivonne. Present. Ok, good. Susana Carolina. Present. Nice. And the last one, Teresa Noemí. Que no se conectó. Ok, there you go, guys. Entonces, que tengan una excelente noche y mañana un feliz día para todos, ok? Bye, bye, guys. See you bye, on bye. Thursday, ok? Good night. Good night. Good night. See you on Thursday. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. See you. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, so let me see, Carlos. You there? Hi, teacher. Okay, good. Give me a second, Carlos. All right, perfect. All right, mister. This couple of minutes is just for us to clarify any question, any doubt that you can have with this topic and the previous topic from the previous classes, okay? Basicamente, este, este, esta sección de estos minutos es básicamente para aclarar Cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a esta clase, clases anteriores, algo con la plataforma, any kind of doubt that you can have, this is the chance for you to ask. Pues, bueno, no sé en español, mm -hmm. porque es que tuve un inconveniente con las primeras, creo que dos, tres clases, creo que fue, mm -hmm. eh, como yo trabajo en área contable, ¿verdad? soy contador mm -hmm. en empresa, entonces... Para nosotros el, y el, cierre, el fin de mes y los primeros días sí son bien, bien complicados, ¿verdad? Entonces sí, no sé si, si medio me puede hablar más o menos de lo que se vio en las primeras dos clases. Mm, ok, good, no problem. Va, la primera clase estuvimos hablando sobre un tema llamado... Infinitives, ¿ok? That was the topic about infinitives. ¿A qué se refiere un infinitivo? Un infinitivo básicamente es cuando se agrega la preposición to a cualquier verbo. Por ejemplo, to eat, to work, to study, ¿ok? To play. Estos verbos con la preposición to se les conoce como infinitivos, ¿ok? Ok. Por lo general, estos verbos pueden ir al principio de una oración, ¿ok? Y pueden actuar como el sujeto dentro de una oración, right? Good. For example. Ok. To study English is really important. Ah, uh, you see? To study English is really important. Estudiar inglés es realmente importante. Acá, la palabra study, ok, mm -hmm. study, básicamente está actuando como el sujeto dentro de la oración. Right? Okay. Entonces acá, ok, podemos colocar un gerundio, un infinitivo, como mm -hmm. el sujeto dentro de la oración oración. Ok, another example. All right, to play soccer is amazing. I mean, el jugar fútbol es increíble. There you go. So that is another infinitive that we can use, all right, as a subject. Ahora bien, lo podemos también utilizar para mencionar la visión y la misión de nuestras empresas, okay? o la empresa donde trabajamos. Por ejemplo, take this out. To... What? 
to be the leader in to be the leaders in technology through the country. Okay, check this out. To be the leaders in technology through the country. A ser los líderes en tecnología a través de o en todo el país. Okay, so in here, tenemos to be. Esta parte de acá se le conoce como el infinitivo. Entonces, por lo general, suelen ir al final de las oraciones. Right? Pero no solo se puede ir al principio, también se puede ir después de otro verbo adicional, ¿ok? Pero este no es cualquier verbo que lo puedo poner, ¿verdad? Sí, lo puede poner con cualquier verbo. Con ah. tal, lo coloque al principio, ese tú lo puede colocar con cualquier verbo. Ok. Yeah, good. Igual acá, esta parte de acá, eh, existen algunos verbos que los podemos eh, trabajar, ¿ok? Y los podemos, digamos, toda vez que usted vea un verbo de estos, que voy a poner acá, por lo general, el siguiente verbo tiene que ir con la preposición to o en forma infinitiva. Por ejemplo, tenemos want, need, ok, eh, start, like, right, eh, enjoy, Ok, por lo general estos verbos que tenemos acá, si estamos hablando en una oración, ok, estos verbos, si vamos a colocar otro verbo adicional, ese verbo tiene que ir en forma infinitiva. Ok, ¿cómo así? Mira esta parte acá. Want. I want to have a good job. Ah, quiero tener un buen trabajo. I want, si, si ve, después de want, tengo el verbo have en infinitivo, con la preposición to, uh -huh. ¿ok? Ahora bien, usando need, yo puedo decir, Carlos needs to explain the English class. Carlos needs to explain The English class. All right. Si, después, si se fija, tengo need acá. Y después del verbo need, tengo el verbo en infinitivo, que en este caso sería to explain. Right? Okay. So, let's take a look at the other one. Ahora, usando el verbo start, que significa comenzar. Right? Okay. I start to explain the Topic to you. Ah, I mean, comienzo a explicar el tema a ti. Te comienzo a explicar el tema. Si ve, to explain, justo después de start. Ok. Ahora bien, ¿podría ayudarme con un ejemplo usando el verbo like? Que significa gustar. Um, uh... I like mm -hmm. to. I like uh -huh, to. To play soccer. Exactly. All right. You see? Después de like, tenemos el verbo en infinitivo. Right? Ahora bien, usando el verbo enjoy. I enjoy. I Enjoy to, to go to buy no. uh -huh. mm -hmm. to buy what? Yeah. I enjoy to buy uh, what? A watch. Sí. Okay, there you go. Si se fija, después de enjoy, tenemos un infinitivo, to buy. ¿Okay? Okay. Entonces, básicamente, de esto es lo que se trató la clase 1. 
¿ok? Con relación a los infinitivos. Recuerde, todo verbo que lleve la preposición to es un verbo en infinitivo. ¿Ok? okay. Y por lo general esos verbos no se pueden colocar en pasado. ¿Ok? De forma infinitiva no se pueden colocar en el pasado. Ok. Sí, no, ya con lo demás, este, sí, he ido este, a poner atención en la clase. Y mm. sí, le, le he entendido este, parte de todos lo, los temas que se han, que se han este, hecho. Mm -hmm. Y en la forma de la participación sí me parece interesante porque nos obliga no solo a estar viendo la clase, sino que a participar. Exactly. All right, mm. les pone un poquito de presión, es cierto eso. Sí, sí. Es no, cierto. Sí, me parece. Yeah, uh -huh. let me see. Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. Ok, cool. Ah, tiene 96% de la tarea 1. Ok, very good. Eh, ah. Solo que ayer tuve un problema que yo lo, este, lo iba a terminar de esa parte, pero no sé, me sacó del, de la plataforma. Igual, este, ayer creo que la toma de la asistencia al final de la clase. Ya no me dejó entrar después de las 10. Ah, sí, sí, así puede notarlo, sí, es cierto. Ajá, pero yo, si usted se fijó, estaba trabajando en los en lo grupos y justo después de las 10 me sacó y quise entrar y ya no, ya no sí, me dejó me... entrar. Sí, es cierto, pero ah, como yo ya sabía que usted estaba trabajando ahí, eh, igual no le, no le puse inasistencia. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, bueno. sí, para. Ajá. Bueno. Aclara bueno, esa pues... parte, ok. Ok, bueno. Very Gracias, good. Entonces. Todos. Ya sabe, cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación de la clase o durante la explicación del tema, no duden en encender el micrófono y preguntar, ¿ok? okay. Es bueno eh, aclarar cualquier duda es justo cuando uno esté explicando, ¿ok? Sí, está bien. Está bien. Digo, Carlos, entonces espero bueno. que tenga un excelente día mañana y una excelente noche, ¿ok? Bueno, gracias. Bye, bye. Bye.